Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the ranch as we continue our 30 and 30. It's 30 vlogs in 30 days. We only have a few days left to go. We also have our 24 hour calving live stream on the way to wrap things up. But uh, this morning I'm coming off of a couple hours sleep. It was a really long night. Uh, we, I did go out this morning, got the cows fed, checked cows. Uh, we had two new calves that I'm going to introduce you to this morning that are out there and came in, uh, got school done with the girls, took a little nap, and uh, now it's just past, uh, just past 9 o'clock, so 9 a.m. So it's, uh, it's looking to be another busy day here on the ranch. Uh, first of all, I do have some bad news uh, for those of you who are following along in the 30 and 30. Uh, this morning, early this morning, we did lose calf number six. Uh, we still don't know exactly what happened there, uh, except for uh, the fact that uh, the calf's temperature dropped. We found her in the in the pasture in the windbreak with her mom, with other calves that were fine. Uh, so we uh, we tried to get her to stand. She couldn't stand. We brought her in, got her in the calf warmer. Went through all that uh, in the middle of the night. She did pass away. So scheduled for her uh, today is actually I'm going to end up taking her into the vet uh, and dropping her off where they'll perform a necropsy when they can. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some answers out of that. Uh, there has been, we, we've, we've kind of been trying to figure out what's going on. There's a thing called white muscle disease, which is a lack of selenium, which we've never actually dealt with here on the ranch, but that's one of the reasons we want to get her in and get that autopsy or necropsy done and, uh, and see what's going on there. I don't think it would be a selenium deficiency. Uh, we've never dealt with it before. We've never had an issue with it before here on the ranch but you never know. There could be something else underlying there. The other issue is that it could be something with her mom and her mom has an infection, in which case we wanna make sure that we, we deal with that. So that's, uh, that's kind of up in the air right now. We're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take the calf in today and, uh, and get it dropped off so they can get to that uh, whenever they can. So uh, another day on the ranch, uh, I kind of look at it, it's, it's kind of uh, a, little, a little weird sometimes, but I, I do have to look at every day is a new game here on the ranch. Some, some games you lose, some games you win, but every day we try to start over. I do feel that if you, if you let each day drag into the next, eventually the entire system is going to collapse on top of you. It's gonna weigh you down and it's gonna, it's gonna push you under. You have to be able to, uh, to take, a, take one day and put it behind you and say, man, what that, that was a horrible, crappy day, but the, today can be better. And that's, that's kind of the point that I've, I've dealt with with a lot of friends of mine, uh, nurses, doctors, um, police officers, firefighters, first responder type people, but not only them. I think it's something that we can take into our lives as well, that you can have a crap day but the next day can be 10 times better. So that's what we always hope for as we move along here on the ranch. Uh, you, can have, you can have bad days. You're gonna have bad days. Everybody's gonna have bad days, whether you're ranching or not, but it's how you deal with those bad days that define you as a person. So we are gonna head out. I'm gonna take you around. We're gonna introduce you to some new calves that were just born this morning and uh, take a look and make sure that they're doing okay. We're also gonna look around make sure we don't have any other hidden calves anywhere. Then we'll take a little break and uh, we'll find some stuff to do. I actually, today I need to package orders. You guys ordered a ton of beef jerky over the weekend. I've got to get that package taken into the post office today. Um, I have to pick up some replacement medications, which I'm going to do while I'm in town. And uh, then we'll be right back into it uh, in our office, which is the, the gator here. So let's get to work. Don't let it fool you, it may look like a uh, sunshiny, bright, beautiful day out here, but the temperature is hovering right around nine degrees. We got down to about zero last night, which is a very cold night, and part of the reason that we had such a long night, uh, I had to basically almost spend every single minute out here just driving around cows, making sure nothing crazy was going on. Like I said, we had two calves that were born early this morning, 
Uh, luckily, they were able to get up and move and, uh, you know, drink from mom and get their colostrum and all that good stuff and make sure that everything was okay. So, uh, we are first off, we have, we now have three calves that are down here uh, by the barn here at last count. We have number two, who's the uh, veteran of the whole situation. He has been around for the last few days and uh, is actually hungry for breakfast. So get that breakfast guy. Elsewhere on the ranch <laughs> and not too far away. Uh, in fact, just a couple hundred feet away, we're gonna find a couple other calves. So we're gonna head up through this way and into this other little fenced in area we like to call the lot and find some more calves. There is one of our new calves. This is number eight, belongs to number 65. Brand new, a little chilly, but dry and out here in the sun. And we did have one other calf out here uh, who belonged to number 17 green. I think she might have taken off with her calf. I thought I saw her actually heading towards the gate. So, I don't think she is in here. She's got a little red calf, number seven, I do believe. And uh, I think that she took off. So we're gonna head out and uh, head back on the place a little bit. We also, oh no, she might, she's over there. I think I just saw her. Let's go over there and check her out. You know, I never would have thought it, and somebody can, can either, uh, you know, confirm or deny this, I guess, in the comments, but uh, there is a, there, there is almost like a, a recognition that you have with your cows. If you work with them long enough, you can, you can almost look across a pasture, and there's, there's always those few cows, and there's even uh, like a few of the black cows that I can tell the difference just by looking at them, even though they're, they're solid black, so there's, uh, you know, the red cows are obviously a little bit easier if they've got markings on their faces or white, you know, like this one right here we call uh, one of our eyebrow cows and that's very distinguishable. She's got the eyebrows, she's got the white eyebrows, we call her an eyebrow cow. But um, even looking across the field, we can see number 17 here and um, she's got her new calf with her. Or not 17, seven. I was wrong there, number seven. Um, she's got her calf here with her and uh, hiding out here in the straw or in the hay, being a good mom. Number seven, not number 17. So I got her name wrong, but still, it's like that, I, I, first of all, I'm horrible with names, so I'm lucky that I can even remember that she had a seven in her name. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm one of those guys that like, I can look at people and I know that I know you. Um, and I, I, but I just cannot remember your name for the life of me, but apparently that extends to the cows as well. So those guys are good. That calf uh, obviously hiding underneath the straw there. I'm not too worried about it. Looks like a good calf. I didn't really make, make him get up and walk around, but um, he's holding his head up. Looks good, so. We'll let him rest for a little bit. Next time we come out, we'll get him up for sure and uh, make sure that he can get up and walk around. All right, we're heading back out towards the windbreaks uh, where we've had kind of a maternity department going on. Uh, we've had, we did have three cows down here, three cows and three calves down here in this first windbreak. This is where I found uh, number six. And uh, like I said, she has passed away, so we're gonna have to break that news to mom out here. But uh, we also have 130 and Faith hanging out in this windbreak, as well as, um, uh, I'm losing track of names and numbers, but I think it's number three and, uh, and her mom hanging out down here, a red cow and a red calf, so. We'll swing down here, we'll take a look and see who's here and who's moved on. And I 
think these cows are relatively happy just to hang out down here. They've got food. They've got water really close by. So um, there is 61. That is number six's mom. Uh, number three and number 97 there. And then uh, we have 130 and Faith who's taking a siesta and hanging out down here some hay so so while we're only at a temperature of about 10 degrees outside uh, the Sun obviously is warm and warming up these calves pretty well so uh, it's even warming me up, you know, we've got the greenhouse effect in here, but it's nice and toasty inside the gator uh, just with the sun hitting us. So I can see how those calves want to get out and uh, soak up some sun and take it easy. Our next stop here is windbreak number two. We'll take a look and see who's down here still and make sure everybody's okay. Last check, we had two calves, two moms, and we do again. We have two calves and two moms hanging out down here. And again, we've got cows down here with feed and water relatively close by, so keeping them pretty happy. So with the loss of number six last night, we are, and the addition of two calves this morning, we're still sitting at seven calves, uh, lucky number seven. We can hold out there for a little while. We're looking at temperatures uh, to start rising throughout the day. I think we're expected to get into the 30s, and then uh, the rest of the week we'll kind of hover around there. We've got more snow on the way uh, in the middle part of the week. And then I think by the end of the week, we're back up into the 50s and maybe even the 60s by the weekend. So uh, we are kind of getting uh, getting the weather straightened out, thankfully, but uh, I don't think winter is over by any means. So our day is also not over, but uh, we're gonna head inside. Uh, I'm gonna get some orders packaged, like I said. I've gotta run to town and uh, a few chores to take care of, but we'll be back out here on the ranch before you know it and uh, doing our rounds. Welcome back guys. Uh, we're heading back out to check cows once again. We've actually had a very, very uneventful day uh, so far here on the ranch. This is our 25th uh, daily vlog here and it's the first day that I think everything has gone pretty darn smooth in that 25 days. Uh, all of our calves have been doing great so far today um, we're just heading out to see what else we might have going on any new calves or anything like that i haven't seen any cows that are uh, acting like they're in labor but you never know somebody might squeak one out um, i had a chance to take a, a bunch of beef jerky into town take it to the uh, post office get it shipped off aaron and i even had a chance to uh, stop by and uh, get some carry out um, lunch and have lunch together so it was uh a very, um, you know, it's just a very laid back day and I think one that I really needed. So I appreciate you guys uh, for giving that day to me so far anyway. Uh, just driving through looking for any calves that might still be in here. There's one little guy up here. Check on him again. There's number two. And over here we have a brand new calf. 
right there. Mommy, uh, looks like she just had that calf. That calf looks cold. Uh, it's up and moving, which is very good. But we're gonna swing over here. Almost drove right by it. Um, this calf obviously is cold. It's a cold calf, but up and moving, which is a good thing. Mom's still cleaning. Um, we're gonna get this calf tagged really quick. Hey, baby. Come here. This is an... Sorry about that. This is another boy calf. Calf number nine. We're gonna back off here. Get mom back over to the calf. One thing that has me somewhat curious about what's going on with this cow, you know, I sit here and talk about how we're, how we're having a, a slow, relaxing day and then something happens. So this cow obviously still has some, a bag hanging. So we're gonna really keep an eye on this cow for the next, for a little while and see if she has another calf because that's what I'm kind of worried about. She's still pushing, you can see. Looks like she's still having contractions. I'm kind of wondering if she's gonna have another calf. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna back off here a little bit. Keep an eye on what's happening with this cow and this calf. I'm gonna give them just a little bit more privacy. She's obviously keeping an eye on what we're doing. So we're gonna pull out of here. We're gonna come over here and check this calf out. Another calf laying down. This is number seven's calf. Calf I can't the cow I can't keep her name straight either. That calf is looking good and healthy. Obviously, we know this calf is moving. She's moved here in the last few minutes, so. Can you get up? Oh, you're okay. Okay. Oh, there, of course. Then, as soon as I drive away, she jumps up and takes off running. Yeah, there she is. Okay. All right, we're moving right along here. We are going to head up this way. So this little guy number eight. We're gonna make sure that this calf can get up. We're doing our job here. Alright, so there we go. Calf is up. Good job, mom. You're a good mom. Yes, you are. calf that's up and moving is obviously a, uh, a good calf for us. Okay, so we're gonna swing back around this other mom here really quick. This one that I thought maybe had twins or might be working on twins. I just wanna take a quick look at her before we head out into the field to see what else we got going on. So let's swing over here. She hasn't had a twin yet, if she's gonna have a twin at all. Now when we ultrasounded, I didn't see any twins. Um, so hopefully she's not having twins. If she is having twins and she has another calf, uh, then I'm, I'm stuck with it with a tough decision now I could go and try to put that calf 
if she has twins. Uh, I could go and try to put that extra calf on number 65, who was number six's mom. Um, I could try to do that. One of the things, though, when I talked to the vet was that they want to look at number six, and part of the reason we took number six in for the necropsy is that they want to look at that calf and make sure that there isn't an infection that was passed on from mom. So without a ruling on that, I probably would be pretty leery about taking a... Uh, twin calf and putting the extra one on number 65. Uh, the big thing with these Angus cows is that they don't really produce enough milk to be able to take care of two calves, uh, whereas, you know, like a Jersey or, or uh, any, sort of, any sort of milk cow really would uh, be able to produce plenty, plenty of milk to support two cows, but the, the Angus just aren't built that way. Uh, also, with them being on pasture and not in a confined area, a lot of times we see Angus cows that will forget about a calf. Um, we've had, even with uh, Angus cows that have twins, uh, they'll have one twin, they'll walk away to have the other, and totally forget that they had the first one. We have that happen quite a bit. Twins are just, it's just asking for trouble. So, uh, we always take one of the twins, usually the smaller one, and raise that as a bottle calf. So hopefully um, that's not happening now, but we'll keep an eye on it as we go here. So we're heading out by the first windbreak now, where we have a few more calves to check on. I said 65, 61 is actually number six's mom. Okay, so 97 there with number three, and then we have Faith over here hanging out with her mom, number 130, who finally decided that it was okay not to hide her calf every eight seconds. Okay, heading back out. We're gonna hit, right, drive back down to the farthest windbreak. You guys are gonna really get used to these fields over the next, well, throughout calving here, but believe that the two cows that have taken up residence down here are probably still here, if not more of them. Just, oh, now we got three. One, two, and a friend. That's all the action that's happening out here. Little family squabble or whatever that is there. Head back down. Check that, uh, that cow out again that might be having the twin. The longer we wait though, I think that we're good. Our chances are that she's not. Um, she was probably, she could have just been having more um, contractions trying to uh, uh, push out her placenta as well. So I mean there's always that I was just a little worried when I was watching her have more contractions Especially after the calf has already been out and up and moving around so But hopefully we do not have a twin although a bonus calf would be nice at this point um, I'm not sure if, uh, if we would want we would probably have to deal with a model calf of this you know right now uh, things being as they are, so we uh, would be better off probably just not to have a twin right now. So we will find out. Only time will tell. So number nine here is probably our biggest concern at this point, the newest calf on the ranch. Uh, Mom's still getting him cleaned off a little bit and uh, making sure that everything looks good. 
I'm gonna hang it up. Uh, pretty uneventful day today, like I said, which is good. We needed one of those. We'll keep an eye on this calf over here. I'll probably get some more, some more hay put out this evening so that everybody kind of has a dry place to, to bed down a little bit. Maybe they can stash these calves somewhere dry. It's not supposed to be as cold tonight, but it's still gonna be pretty chilly. So thanks for coming along with us once again. It's the 30 and 30 here on Our Wyoming Life. 30 vlogs in 30 days, and we're coming towards the end along with a really cool 24 hour calving live stream, which is on the way as well. So thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you. Alrighty, bonus footage, I guess. Um, I thought I was done with you guys, but uh, you get wrapped into one more. We've got another calf on the way. It's uh, now about 6.30, and uh, I just I was out checking cows uh, another time, just because just I got nothing else better to do, and uh, checking calves, and I found a, a mama cow laying over here on a hillside next to the pond, and it looks like she is uh, pushing out a calf. So let me get a little closer here. We can see there's one foot, there's a nose, and hopefully with us being here, we can get her to push it out a little bit. This is number 124. And we're just gonna let her kind of walk off here a little bit. Want her to have that calf relatively soon here, so we are gonna hang back and just make sure that this happens. Okay, looks like no dinner for us for a little while. Um, we're gonna kinda just go over here, over this ridge, out of sight, out of mind, and hang out for a little bit. Wait for her to finish up this. We'll come check that calf out, make sure everything's okay. Now she's not um, too far from a windbreak. You can see her down there. She's a ways down there, but she's not too far from a windbreak and she is heading in that direction. So this is actually better off because my thought would be if she does have that calf, we might just snag it and go and put it in the windbreak for her, but she might be on her way to do that herself. So all we can do is just sit here and wait for a little bit. She just plopped out a calf. We're gonna head down this way, get the calf tagged. Aaron also asked me if I can get some uh, ooey gooey, disgusting pictures for Instagram. So we're gonna do that while we're down here and uh, give this calf a really quick once over, make sure everything looks okay. calf look good for now we're gonna leave her to clean up her calf she had the calf obviously in a very good spot to have a calf on the side of the hill there a little bit of a uh, little bit of a dry spot no snow calf's already trying to get up we're gonna leave them alone for a little while I'll be back out to check them but for you feel free to take the rest of the night off thanks guys